Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon for latest video updates. Unlike other industrial robots, Baxter was collaborative thanks to cognitive computing, an AI approach designed to simulate the human thoughts process. That's how it was trained. Humans could grab its arms and show it how to do the task efficiently, essentially serving as a mentor to Baxter which could then go on and perform those tasks. Unfortunately, Baxter was short-lived. After a long of early fanfare, its creator, Rethink Robotics, spent years of struggling to scale its operations and find enough buyers for Baxter. By 2018, the company went bankrupt and was bought out by German automation company Han Group, which continues to work on Baxter's successor sire. Now let's see what is cognitive computing. Cognitive computing is the use of computerized models not only to process information in pre-programmed ways but also look for new information, interpret it and take whatever actions it deems necessary. Systems are able to formulate responses on their own rather than prescribed set of responses. This is meant to simulate the human thought process in complex situations, particularly where the answer may be ambitious or uncertain to provide decision makers with information they need to make better database decisions. It's also used to build deeper relationships with people where they are customers, prospective employees or patients. Cognitive systems are probabilistic, meaning they are designed to adopt and make sense of complexity and unpredictability of unstructured information. They can read text, see images and hear the natural speeches, and they interpret the information, organize it and offer explanation of what it means along with information of their conclusions. John E. Kelly, a senior vice president and director of IBM Research, explained in 2015 white paper. To do this, cognitive computing systems use artificial intelligence and its many underlying technologies including neural networks, natural language processing, image recognition, robotics, machine learning, and deep learning. By combining these processes with self-learning algorithms, data analysis, and pattern recognition, the constantly ingesting new information in the form of vast amount of data, computers can be taught and by extension think about problems and came up with plausible solutions. Mudhu Sudhakar, CEO of tech company Isera, likens cognitive computing to the process of teaching a child. As children grow up, people teach them things with pictures and words. In cognitive computing, this is known as ontology. People also use dictionaries, books to teach children not only what certain words mean, but the entire context of those words, a process known as taxonomy. For instance, weather relates to things like temperature, precipitation, and seasons. People also teach children by exhibiting behavior they hope the child will replicate and deterring behavior they don't like. In cognitive computing, that learning piece is called reinforcement learning. If you can add all these three things, start with basic information, ontology, and taxonomy, and then add some aspect of learning with reinforcement, you will have a pretty decent system which can interact with humans, Sudhakar told on the occasion, and this can lead to some pretty innovative solutions. For instance, Sudhakar's company Isera has reportedly created the world's best AI-driven platform to automate employees and customer experiences. Using cognitive computing, the platform can intuitively resolve tasks, actions, and workflows across a variety of departments, automating what Sudhakar refers to as mundane tasks. It is also making advancement in the world of empathy and determining emotions, which can be especially useful in the area like HR, customer services, and sales. For instance, if the platform can detect the customer is confused, based on their voice and language use, it can then give the customer service agent specific prompts to help clarify what might be confusing the customer. That's enough for the day and I'll see you in the next video.